Okay, everyone, we are going to work on practice sheet 32. So make sure you take out your formula chart. And let's get started. So here I have a composite shape. So guys, remember, we generally break up our shape. So hopefully everybody sees the rectangle in the middle. And I see 8 and 16. Then I see two halves of a small circle, and that's eight for that length. And then I see two halves of a large circle, and that is 16. Okay. So what is this? What do we call eight? Hopefully you know that's diameter, so go on and label that. And this is also diameter. Okay. So we're going to find two formulas, area of a rectangle, area of a circle. Some of you may already have it memorized. If not, we look at the formula chart. So area, rectangle, base times height, area, circle, pi r squared. Okay. So, go back to my page. For this one, we're just going to do A equals BH. I'm going to let you do this part by yourself, okay? That's going to go here. Okay, then we have our two circles. And remember that was A equals pi R squared. And that will be for both. Now when you look up here, Notice we don't have R. We have D for diameter. So I need to find the radius. So the radius just goes to the middle. So how much is that? And hopefully you know. In this case, the radius is 4. That's half of 8. And in this case, the radius is 8. And that's half. So hopefully we all are good with pi now, what pi is. If not, we just go to our formula chart, and it's right here, 3.14. We always use pi with our circles. The radius is 4, and we square it. Okay? So I'm going to show you this one. You're going to do this one, okay? So remember, 3.14, probably should have given you more room, but you can do it on a separate sheet. 4 squared means 4 times 4, which is 16. Okay, so you are going to multiply this one out, okay? And that will give you this circle. You're going to do the same thing with this one, and then we have our last step, guys, which is we add all the shapes. Okay, so we will have our rectangle, our little circle, and our big circle. There's not a reason to divide these by two because the two halves make one whole. So our last, last step is adding. Please make sure you multiply carefully. Please make sure you have a correct decimal placement. Number two, I'm going to read it. You're going to solve it. I made sure I put in the correct grid for this. Okay. We'll say I paid $47 for four movie tickets. Each ticket cost the same amount. What was the cost of each movie ticket? So you want the cost of one ticket. Okay. So y'all are going to do that one. Now let's do number three. The spinner shown is fun one time. What is the probability of spinning a number that is at least six, okay? So probability of at least six. Now, this wording confuses people, which is why I want to make sure we talk about it together, okay? At least means this number or higher, okay? So... I have my spinner, right? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So at least six means six or higher. Okay? 
Now, when we do our probability, remember, we always have a total down. So hopefully we know 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. We have 8 on bottom. And on top, we have 1, 2, 3. And we're just going to leave it like that. If you want to change it into a percent, that would be great. But I'm fine with you leaving like it, leaving it like this. 3 is prime. It will not simplify with 8. Okay. Last one for the first video. Solve and graph. Okay. So, guys, we're getting so close to the end. I want to make sure that we remember this. So, two things before we start. Well, really three. Number one, x is on the correct side. We want it on the left. Number two, this is going to be an open dot. It does not equal, so let's remember that. And then the second thing is I'm going to be dividing by a negative. And when you divide by a negative, you flip the symbol. So that means I'm going to shade this way, okay? Now, if you get this far, there's a good chance you'll get half of this correct at least, okay? But we do, like, when I say half, as in I bet 50% of your answer choices will go away if it's multiple choice. Now, if you're creating a number line, then you know immediately what type it is, okay? It's shaded to the left with an open circle, okay? So what I would do is, obviously... Get rid of minus, opposite of minus is plus. Okay. 21 plus 5, what is that? Okay. Then I still have times negative 4, so I divide by a negative. This is when I flip. Okay. Now, this part is triangle, so your job is to figure this out so you know what number to put here, okay? Um, it should be some sort of decimal answer, okay? So I'll let y'all finish that up. 